In mathematics, a hating algebra is a bounded lattice equipped with a binary operation a b of implication such that c a b is equivalent to c a b. From a logical standpoint, a b is by this definition the weakest proposition for which modus ponens, the inference rule a b, a b, is sound. Equivalently a hating algebra is a residuated lattice whose monoid operation a b is a b, yet another definition is as a posital Cartesian closed category with all finite sums. Like Boolean algebras, hating algebras form a variety axiomatizable with finitely many equations. Hating algebras were introduced by Arendt hating to formalize intuitionistic logic. As lattices, hating algebras are distributive. Every Boolean algebra is a hating algebra when a B is defined as usual as a B, as is every complete distributive lattice satisfying a one-sided infinite distributive law when a B is taken to be the supremum of the set of all C, for which a C B. The open sets of a topological space form such a lattice, and therefore a hating algebra. In the finite case every non-empty distributive lattice, in particular every non-empty finite chain, is automatically complete and completely distributive, and hence a hating algebra. It follows from the definition that 1 0 a, corresponding to the intuition that any proposition a is implied by a contradiction 0. Although the negation operation a is not part of the definition, it is definable as a 0. The definition implies that a equals 0, making the intuitive content of a the proposition that to assume a would lead to a contradiction, from which any other proposition would then follow. It can further be shown that a a, although the converse, a a, is not true in general, that is, double negation does not hold in general in a hating algebra. Those elements of a hating algebra of the former comprise a Boolean lattice, but in general this is not a subalgebra of H. Hating algebra serve as the algebraic models of propositional intuitionistic logic in the same way Boolean algebras model propositional classical logic. Complete hating algebras are a central object of study in pointless topology. The internal logic of an elementary topis is based on the hating algebra of subobjects of the terminal object 1 ordered by inclusion. Equivalently the morphisms from 1 to the subobject classifier omega. Every hating algebra whose set of non-greatest elements has a greatest element is subdirectly irreducible. Whence every hating algebra can be made an SI by adjoining a new greatest element. It follows that even among the finite hating algebras there exist infinitely many that are subdirectly irreducible, no two of which have the same equational theory. Hence no finite set of finite hating algebras can supply all the counterexamples to non-laws of hating algebra. This is in sharp contrast to Boolean algebras, whose only SI is the two element 1, which on its own therefore suffices for all counterexamples to non-laws of Boolean algebra, the basis for the simple truth table decision method. Nevertheless, it is decidable whether an equation holds of all hating algebras. Hating algebras are less often called pseudo-Boolean algebras, or even Brouwer lattices, although the latter term may denote the dual definition, or have a slightly more general meaning. Formal definition. A hating algebra H is a bounded lattice such that for all A and B in H there is a greatest element X of H such that this element is the relative, pseudo-complement of A with respect to B, and is denoted a B. We write 1 and 0 for the largest and the smallest element of H, respectively. In any hating algebra, one defines the pseudo-complementer of any element by setting A equals by definition, and A is the largest element having this property. However, it is not in general true that, thus is only a pseudo-complement, not a true complement, as would be the case in a Boolean algebra. A complete hating algebra is a hating algebra that is a complete lattice. A subalgebra of a hating algebra H is a subset H1 of H containing 0 and 1 and closed under the operations, and, it follows that it is also closed under. A subalgebra is made into a hating algebra by the induced operations. Alternative definitions 
Lattice theoretic definitions An equivalent definition of hating algebras can be given by considering the mappings. For some fixed in H, a bounded lattice H is a hating algebra if and only if every mapping FA is the lower adjoint of a monotone Galois connection. In this case the respective upper adjoint Ga is given by Ga equals or X, where is defined as above. Yet another definition is as a residuated lattice whose monoid operation is. The monoid unit must then be the top element 1. Commutativity of this monoid implies that the two residuals coincide as a B. Bounded lattice with an implication operation given a bounded lattice A with largest and smallest elements 1 and 0, and a binary operation. These together form a hating algebra if and only if the following hold. Wherefore is the distributive law for characterization using the axioms of intuitionistic logic this characterization of hating algebras makes the proof of the basic facts concerning the relationship between intuitionist propositional calculus and hating algebras immediate. One should think of the element 1 as meaning, intuitively, provably true, compare with the axioms at intuitionistic logic hashtag axiomatization. Given a set A with three binary operations, and, and two distinguished elements 0 and 1, then A is a hating algebra for these operations if and only if the following conditions hold for any elements x, y and z of A. Finally, we define x to be x0. Condition 1 says that equivalent formulas should be identified. Condition 2 says that provably true formulas are closed under modus ponens. Conditions 3 and 4 are then conditions. Conditions 5, 6 and 7 are in conditions. Conditions 8, 9 and 10 are all conditions. Condition 11 is a false condition. Of course, if a different set of axioms were chosen for logic, we could modify ours accordingly. Examples Every Boolean algebra is a hating algebra, with PQ given by PQ. Every totally ordered set that is a bounded lattice is also a hating algebra, where PQ is equal to Q when P greater than Q, and 1 otherwise. The simplest hating algebra that is not already a Boolean algebra is the totally ordered set 0, 1 half, 1, with defined as above, yielding the operations. Notice that 1 half 1 half equals 1 half equals 1 half 0 equals 1 half falsifies the law of excluded middle. Every topology provides a complete hating algebra in the form of its open set lattice. In this case, the element AB is the interior of the union of AC and B, where AC denotes the complement of the open set A. Not all complete hating algebras are of this form. These issues are studied in pointless topology, where complete hating algebras are also called frames or locales. Every interior algebra provides a hating algebra in the form of its lattice of open elements. Every hating algebra is of this form as a hating algebra can be completed to a Boolean algebra by taking its free Boolean extension as a bounded distributive lattice and then treating it as a generalized topology in this Boolean algebra. The Lindenbaum algebra of propositional intuitionistic logic is a hating algebra. The global elements of the subobject classifier omega of an elementary topis form a hating algebra. It is the hating algebra of truth values of the intuitionistic higher order logic induced by the topis. Lukasiewicz Moisel algebras are also hating algebras for any n properties. General properties The ordering on the hating algebra H can be recovered from the operation as follows. For any element A, B of H, if and only if a B equals 1. In contrast to some many valued logics, hating algebras share the following property with Boolean algebras. If negation has a fixed point, then the hating algebra is the trivial one-element hating algebra. Provable identities given a formula of propositional calculus, it is a fact, proved early on in any study of hating algebras, that the following two conditions are equivalent. The formula F is provably true in intuitionist propositional calculus. The identity is true for any hating algebra H and any elements. 
the meta implication 1 2 is extremely useful and is the principal practical method for proving identities in hating algebras. In practice, one frequently uses the deduction theorem in such proofs. Since for any a and b in a hating algebra h we have if and only if a b equals 1, it follows from 1 2 that whenever a formula fg is provably true, we have for any hating algebra h, and any elements. In particular, if f and g are provably equivalent, then, since is an order relation, 1 2 can be proved by examining the logical axioms of the system of proof and verifying that their value is 1 in any hating algebra, and then verifying that the application of the rules of inference to expressions with value 1 in a hating algebra results in expressions with value 1. For example, let us choose the system of proof having modus ponens as its sole rule of inference, and whose axioms are the Hilbert-style ones given at intuitionistic logic hashtag axiomatization. Then the facts to be verified follow immediately from the axiom-like definition of hating algebras given above. 1 2 also provides a method for proving that certain propositional formulas, though tautologies in classical logic, cannot be proved in intuitionist propositional logic. In order to prove that some formula is not provable, it is enough to exhibit a hating algebra H an element such that if one wishes to avoid mention of logic, then in practice it becomes necessary to prove as a lemma a version of the deduction theorem valid for hating algebras. For any elements A, B and C of a hating algebra H, we have. For more on the meta implication 2 1, see the section, Universal Constructions, below. Distributivity hating algebras are always distributive. Specifically, we always have the identities. The distributive law is sometimes stated as an axiom, but in fact it follows from the existence of relative pseudo-complements. The reason is that, being the lower adjoint of a Galois connection, preserves all existing suprema. Distributivity in turn is just the preservation of binary suprema by, by a similar argument, the following infinite distributive law holds in any complete hating algebra, for any element x in H and any subset y of H. Conversely, any complete lattice satisfying the above infinite distributive law is a complete hating algebra, with being its relative pseudo-complement operation. Regular and complemented elements An element X of a hating algebra H is called regular if either of the following equivalent conditions hold. X equals X. X equals Y for some Y in H. The equivalence of these conditions can be restated simply as the identity X equals X, valid for all X in H. Elements X and Y of a hating algebra H are called complements to each other if X Y equals 0 and X Y equals 1. If it exists, any such Y is unique and must in fact be equal to X. We call an element X complemented if it admits a complement. It is true that if X is complemented, then so is X, and then X and X are complements to each other. However, confusingly, even if X is not complemented, X may nonetheless have a complement. In any hating algebra, the elements 0 and 1 are complements to each other. For instance, it is possible that X is 0 for every X different from 0, and 1 if X equals 0, in which case 0 and 1 are the only regular elements. Any complemented element of a hating algebra is regular, though the converse is not true in general. In particular, 0 and 1 are always regular. For any hating algebra H, the following conditions are equivalent. H is a Boolean algebra. Every X in H is regular. Every X in H is complemented. In this case, the element of B is equal to a B. The regular elements of any hating algebra H constitute a Boolean algebra HREG, in which the operations and 
as well as the constants 0 and 1, coincide with those of H. In the case of H comp, the operation is also the same, hence H comp is a subalgebra of H. In general, however, HREG will not be a subalgebra of H, because its join operation reg may be differ from. For X, Y, HREG, we have X reg Y equals See below for necessary and sufficient conditions in order for reg to coincide with the De Morgan laws in a hating algebra. One of the two De Morgan laws is satisfied in every hating algebra. Namely, however, the other De Morgan law does not always hold. We have instead a weak De Morgan law. The following statements are equivalent for all hating algebras H. H satisfies both De Morgan laws. Condition 2 is the other de Morgan law. Condition 6 says that the join operation reg on the Boolean algebra HREG of regular elements of H coincides with the operation of H. Condition 7 states that every regular element is complemented, i.e., HREG equals H comp. We prove the equivalence. Clearly the meta implications 1, 2, 2, 3 and 4, 5 are trivial. Furthermore, 3, 4 and 5, 6 result simply from the first de Morgan law and the definition of regular elements. We show that 6, 7 by taking x and x in place of x and y and 6 and using the identity a are equals 0. Notice that 2, 1 follows from the first de Morgan law, and 7, 6 results from the fact that the join operation on the subalgebra h comp is just the restriction of 2 h comp. Taking into account the characterizations we have given of conditions 6 and 7, the meta implication 5 2 is a trivial consequence of the weak de Morgan law, taking x and y in place of x and y in 5. Hating algebra satisfying the above properties are related to de Morgan logic in the same way hating algebras in general are related to intuitionist logic. Hating algebra morphisms Definition given to hating algebras H1 and H2 and a mapping F, H1, H2, we say that F is a morphism of hating algebras if, for any elements X and Y in H1, we have. It follows from condition 4 that F is an increasing function, that is, that F, F whenever X, Y, assume H1 and H2 are structures with operations, and constants 0 and 1 and f is a surjective mapping from h1 to h2 with properties 1 through 5 above. Then if h1 is a hating algebra, so too is h2. This follows from the characterization of hating algebras as bounded lattices with an operation satisfying certain identities. Properties The identity map f equals x from any hating algebra to itself is a morphism, and the composite gf of any two morphisms f and g is a morphism. Hence hating algebras form a category. Examples given a hating algebra H and any subalgebra H1. The inclusion mapping I, H1 H is a morphism. For any hating algebra H, the map XX defines a morphism from H onto the Boolean algebra of its regular elements HREG. This is not in general a morphism from H to itself, since the join operation of HREG may be different from that of H. H. Quotients. Let H be a hating algebra, and let F H. We call F a filter on H if it satisfies the following properties. The intersection of any set of filters on H is again a filter. Therefore, given any subset S of H there is a smallest filter containing S. We call it the filter generated by S. If S is empty, F equals 1. Otherwise, F is equal to the set of X in H such that there exist Y1, Y2, Yn S with Y1, Y2, Yn X. If H is a hating algebra and F is a filter on H, we define a relation on H as follows. We write x, y whenever x, y and y, x both belong to f, then is an equivalence relation, we write h, f for the quotient set. There is a unique hating algebra structure on h, f such that the canonical surjection p, f, h, h, f becomes a hating algebra morphism. We call the hating algebra h, f the quotient of h by f. 
Let S be a subset of a hating algebra H and let F be the filter generated by S. Then H, F satisfies the following universal property. Given any morphism of hating algebras F, H, H, satisfying F equals 1 for every Y, S, F factors uniquely through the canonical surjection P, F, H, H, F. That is, there is a unique morphism F, H, F, H, satisfying F, P, F equals F. The morphism F, is said to be induced by F. Let F, H1, H2 be a morphism of hating algebras. The kernel of F, written in Kerr F, is the set F minus 1, 1. It is a filter on H1. By the foregoing, F induces a morphism F, H1, H2. It is an isomorphism of H1, onto the subalgebra F, H1, of H2.